four years. Three Eye Atlas was a ghost, a faint blur from beyond our solar system. Now, this isn't just another passing comet. Atlas is a unique interstellar visitor with a trajectory and composition unlike anything we've ever tracked. Get ready to witness a cosmic encounter that will redefine our understanding of other star systems. The countdown to three I Atlas has begun. For the first time, NASA has pinned down a clear arrival window for interstellar object 3i Atlas, and it's closer than many expected. But what exactly does this mean for astronomers tracking its path through the solar system? In this video, we'll unpack when 3i Atlas is projected to pass near Earth's orbit, how NASA confirms such dates, and what makes this visitor different from anything else we've observed so far from beyond our Sun's gravitational reach. How NASA tracked an interstellar visitor's path. Until now, 3i Atlas had been little more than a fast-moving blur on astronomers' charts. From scattered points of light gathered by distant telescopes, NASA has now extracted a firm arrival timeline. The question is how they turned a faint moving dot, visible for only minutes on each observing night, into a precise forecast measured in days. Interstellar objects are bodies that originated outside the solar system. They travel fast enough to escape the sun's gravity rather than orbit it. The first known example, 1i Oumuamua, passed through in 2017 with a cigar-like silhouette and a puzzling lack of cometary gas. Two years later, 2i Borisov arrived a true comet with a tail of dust and cyanide vapour. 3. I Atlas, named for a survey program that first detected it, now becomes the third confirmed visitor from another star system. Unlike the countless asteroids tracked each year, these interstellar bodies represent a tiny subset that entered our neighbourhood by chance, carrying material formed under completely different stellar conditions. When astronomers first spot an object like 3i Atlas, they usually have only a few nights of data. Each measurement marks a position against the background stars, but in early tracking, those points can suggest dozens of possible orbits. Slight errors in timing or angle can make an object seem bound to our sun or racing past it from interstellar space. These intervals of uncertainty shrink only as the observation arc widens. That is, as the object moves enough across the sky for its curvature of motion to reveal a clear path. Initially, 3i Atlas's estimated distance and speed varied so widely that even professionals were unsure whether it was approaching from above or below the plane of Earth's orbit. At NASA's Center for Near-Earth Object Studies, analysts refined the data using parallax from multiple observatories. Parallax is the geometric difference in an object's apparent position when seen from two locations. For instance, two observatories on opposite sides of Earth. By combining parallax with radar echoes from planetary radar systems, they bounded its distance more tightly. Then, trajectory models, run with tens of thousands of simulated paths, allowed the best fit to emerge. Each iteration compared where 3i Atlas should appear on a given night to where telescopes actually recorded it, closing the margin of error with every cycle. Once the detection arc was long enough, scientists could project future positions confidently. This process turns raw dots on photographic plates into coordinates accurate to fractions of a degree. Using those results, JPL teams generated the object's heliocentric trajectory, the path around the Sun in three-dimensional space, and derived its arrival window for observational purposes. The change from uncertainty to precision hinged on a small set of additional images taken by survey telescopes in Hawaii and Chile. Those extended the observation timeline by just two nights but drastically reduced error margins on its speed and inclination. Earlier visitors show why this matters. 
when Oumuamua was first plotted. Arrival estimates shifted by several days as new data came in. With two Ashd I Borisov, the difference between early and confirmed approach times narrowed to less than a half day. For three, I Atlas, the confidence interval now falls within hours, according to NASA's latest internal estimates. Diagrams released by JPL depict a dense swarm of test orbits collapsing into one well-defined line after these refinements. A visual proof of prediction improving through observation. NASA's confirmation means 3i Atlas has entered rare company. Few interstellar passers-by have had their paths documented well enough to plan exact observation schedules. That accuracy will let telescopes prepare months in advance, rather than scramble as it fades back into darkness. With an arrival date fixed, the focus now shifts from trajectory to substance. What will 3i Atlas reveal about its origin as it crosses the inner solar system? And why are researchers calling it the most unpredictable interstellar visitor yet? Why 3i Atlas could redefine how we study interstellar objects. Unlike its predecessors, 3. I-Atlas may not just pass by. Early modeling shows that its inbound path intersects several regions dense with solar radiation and particle flux, which could trigger brief, measurable reactions in its outer layers. No interstellar body has approached on a trajectory this inclined relative to the solar system's plane that angle could produce conditions we have never monitored directly. A short interaction window where the sun's heating might change both the object's brightness and its motion. Physical models describe three I Atlas's motion with what astronomers call a velocity vector and radiant. The velocity vector marks not only its speed, but also the direction of travel relative to the sun. The radiant is the point in the sky where that motion appears to originate. For 3 I Atlas, both quantities differ slightly from those of previous interstellar visitors. Its speed is somewhat lower than two Arsumai Borisovs, but higher than typical long-period comets bound to the Sun. More intriguingly, its radiant lies closer to the galactic plane, suggesting its origin region might track the general flow of local interstellar material rather than a specific star system. From there, debate starts. Some teams propose that 3i Atlas behaves like a cometary fragment, rich in frozen gases that will vaporize as it nears the sun. Others point to photometric variations, small changes in reflected light that suggest a denser surface possibly rockier, or coated in non-volatile compounds. If that is true, 3i Atlas could challenge the common formation models for interstellar bodies, which predict that volatile rich objects should dominate because they are more easily ejected from young planetary systems. A competing hypothesis argues that prolonged exposure to interstellar cosmic rays might have hardened its crust masking an icy interior that only deeper heating will expose. Spectroscopy, the method of splitting light into its constituent wavelengths, will give the first real test. By measuring specific spectral lines, astronomers identify molecules such as water, carbon monoxide, or silicate dust. A peculiar ratio between these substances would hint at origins in a colder or warmer protoplanetary environment than our own. Infrared observations will play a central role because infrared light reveals thermal signatures invisible in visible wavelengths. Molecules vibrate and rotate, producing patterns that infrared detectors can read directly, allowing teams to identify their exact composition without relying on reflected sunlight alone. To coordinate these efforts, NASA and international partners have developed a global observation plan. Ground-based facilities like the European Southern Observatory's Very Large Telescope and the PANSTARS survey arrays will monitor visible light activity. 
In parallel, the James Webb Space Telescope is set to conduct infrared spectroscopy once the object reaches a brightness threshold suitable for its sensors. Webb's instruments can isolate emission bands linked to organic compounds, potentially offering chemical fingerprints of three i atlases place of origin. Data will feed into CNEOS analyses, linking physical properties with orbital behavior to see how internal processes affect its trajectory. Any deviation in outgassing near perihelion, which is the point closest to the sun, will matter. Gas jets can act as miniature thrusters, subtly altering motion and revealing internal asymmetry. If three eye atlas vents unevenly, its path may diverge just enough to rewrite assumptions about how material survives travel between star systems. A single unexpected burst could show that interstellar objects retain volatile reserves far deeper than theories suggest, or conversely, that they lose these materials quickly after ejection, leaving hardened relics that mimic asteroids. NASA plans to cross-compare three I-Atlas measurements with models built for Oumuamua and Borisov. By contrasting their bulk density, albedo, and spectral slopes, researchers hope to refine hypotheses about how solid and icy grains migrate through interstellar gas before capture by new planetary disks. The flyby, brief as it will be, might yield the clearest evidence yet that matter forged beyond our sun follows distinct chemical pathways, linking other star systems to our own evolutionary story. With these preparations underway, 3 i atlas becomes less a single encounter and more a step in understanding how each interstellar visitor reshapes what we call home. Conclusion each interstellar visitor expands our view of where our solar system stands within the Milky Way. These rare encounters remind us that even the space between stars is not empty. It's part of a larger, ongoing exchange of material and motion. Following NASA's published observation plans offers a direct way to see how discovery unfolds in real time. Each study deepens our sense of cosmic context, linking our small corner of the galaxy to regions we may never reach. 3. I-Atlas's upcoming arrival stands as quiet proof that our solar system remains open to the wider traffic of the universe.